Good morning and welcome back to the Amish Potato. Today we're probably just going to do a few updates. Hopefully I'll have a few shorts coming up. But uh, yeah, let's talk about um, let's talk about filming. Let's talk about barefoot shoes. How that's going with me? Did I quit it? Am I still doing it? And maybe a giveaway. So filming. Hopefully today. Friday morning, I will be purchasing paint to paint the wall behind me and so I can put some decor up and I will have a backdrop. Currently, I've just been doing it in our house. Um, when it comes to YouTube, the, the hardest thing about YouTube is coming up with titles, number one, for your videos. The second hardest thing is lighting. So every time I shoot in our house, I have to grab some lights clear the kitchen table, whatever it may be, and set everything up um, and make sure the house is clean and all that. But we have a back room, the laundry room, I guess it's a kind of a back entryway with this wall that I can maybe fix up as a backdrop and then my equipment can kind of just stay here. That would make shooting videos easier. <laughs> Oftentimes I have inspiration to do a video, but I, I have laziness or the timing is wrong as far as getting everything set up. Because we also have two dogs in the house with a hardwood floor and the one dog is still young and likes jumping around and moving cameras and both of them like walking around and their claws just clickety clackety clickety clack over the floor and is very not YouTube friendly. Here I can hide as long as my wife isn't doing laundry, as long as the deep freeze doesn't kick in, by the way, that thing is full of deer meat. Yeah. I don't hunt personally, but a friend of mine at work shot me a deer, gave it to me. Um, and another co-worker uh, actually uh, processed it, worked it up. So I got some beef jerky, I got some steaks, I got some deer burger, and some snack sticks and a bunch of summer sausage delicious yes Amish do hunt they love hunting and there's multiple Amish guys who process deer and make delicious meat here in northern Indiana uh, barefoot shoes about a year ago I did a video on wearing barefoot shoes or minimalist shoes and I was actually running barefoot on pavement or on trails you can watch that right here is the barefoot shoes just a fad or is that something you guys should check into well, in short, I will never go back to normal shoes. Never. As long as they keep making barefoot shoes, that's what I'm wearing. The reason being is they are far more comfortable. They have, for example, my running shoes. They have a wide toe box so your toes can spread out. Um, and they are flat on the bottom and they have they are flexible they aren't stiff so like mountain biking shoes are very they bend here but they're stiff here they're stiff here and narrow toe box you see that point squishes your toes when i worked in the rv factories at jaco here for 14 years my feet hurt every single day I just, I would have loved to just sit down, just take some breaks and sit down. They hurt. They started at the bottom of my feet. They started hurting. And then they, as the day went on, it just got worse up my legs. I went to tons of chiropractors. I went to foot specialists, doctors. All they did was throw me art supports and didn't work. So come to find out I have anterior pelvic tilt. My posture was off. My hip was rotated. My pelvic was rotated forward. It needed to be rotated back. Um, that was causing that was what was causing it and so now i'm just conscious of it i t i just if i feel my hip rolling forward i just roll it back but what helps a ton is i no longer wear the shoes that have that thicker heel that wedge that tilts my body forward and then my body tries to correct for it and it makes it so much better uh Matter of fact, I am in the RV fat manufacturing again, working on concrete, and I don't have any foot pain. So, praise God, that's solved. So simple. 
So simple. Just going back to the natural. Uh, this summer, I got up to, I ran 10.5 miles barefoot on pavement, the pumpkin vine trail. 10.5 miles barefoot. I never imagined anybody could get to that point. If I would have stayed with it, I could have done more. Probably 15. It took a while to build up to it, but that just goes to show us how weak our feet have become. When we put on these cushioned, heeled shoes with all this arch support, whatever support, the shoes are doing the, the work that your feet should. And it makes your feet weak. The same as with a, if you're wearing a cast for six months, what happens to that arm? It gets small and weak. And you have to build up that strength again after that cast comes off. The shoes are doing the same thing to your feet. So by me going out there, walking barefoot, running barefoot as much as possible, I am building up the muscles in my feet, the arches and everything I'm building up. And that is now properly capable of supporting the rest of my body. Check out a bunch of YouTube videos. There are tons of people who are saying they have gotten many health benefits from wearing barefoot or minimalist shoes, just flat shoes. Just a quick note here. If you're gonna try the barefoot shoes or the minimalist shoes, Go walking barefoot when it's summertime, obviously, but uh, and and walk long distances or run whatever you want to do, and and that that'll help build your muscles and your feet up quicker um, for these barefoot shoes. It'll just be more beneficial. Walk far enough that your feet hurt or are sore for a day or two. When they're sore, you know they're you know their muscles are working and they're gonna get stronger and stronger, so you just go a little bit further and a little bit further every time you go walk. Yeah, that'll help your muscles build up quicker for supporting your body. When we moved to Michigan, my uh, a bunch of people in my family decided they wanna try some of these shoes. My dad, for one, bought uh, some, he bought a pair of these bowler boots from Lem Shoes. These are the most comfortable boots I have ever worn. But he bought a pair and wore them to work and he loved them. He said he has a lot less uh, back pain. And when he, when he, and his feet are, feel so much better. Like his feet don't hurt. He doesn't come home from work and instantly want to take his shoes off. Um, number one, because there's a wider toe box. There's breathing room up here for his toes. His toes are no longer white because they're pinched together but they have color and they're and they're spreading apart a little bit so they have room they have room to be feet he loves them matter of fact he tried a pair of the red version of these for work and after a few weeks a month maybe he called me up said hey order me two more pairs <laughs> he wanted a black pair for church and a pair of waterproof ones for i think uh to just for good. My mom bought a pair of Lem's tennis shoes and she reports having less knee pain. So, and the knee pain comes back when she uh, wears normal shoes again. My other siblings who have bought some, they didn't necessarily have a whole lot of pain going on, but they love their, they love the roominess and the comfort of these shoes. I highly think you guys should go check out a bunch of YouTube videos, people's testimonies on these shoes and going back to the natural. It's changed my life. It, I think it's kind of similar with diet. We were given the food, food pyramid, which we're finding out is basically upside down. We should be eating more meats, less grains, uh, if you don't believe me, go watch go watch uh, YouTube videos on the carnivore diet and all the health benefits that people are getting from eating nothing but meat. It's crazy. And you would think, well, but veggies. Well, veggies are causing a lot of issues in our bodies, especially if we're eating so many. I think we have, as humans, strayed a bit from the natural way of doing things or eating. And it's time to, and we're starting to starting to realize this. Uh, and head back to the natural, which is good. And then there's a lot of benefits from it. The, the carnivore diet, there's types of diabetes that um, they're curing, autoimmune, autoimmune diseases are curing depression that's going away with the carnivore diet. I did do that for a few months uh, a couple of years ago. 
and I have never felt better, honestly. So if you want to hear more about that, let me know in the comments below and I can speak on the carnivore diet more. I've hit 28,000 subscribers. I wanted to do a giveaway at 25,000. What do you guys want? The only thing I can think of is an Amish cookbook. Is that something that interests you guys? Is there something else you guys might want? Do you want something authentically Amish? Does that do you care about that or not? <laughs> uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Good, good giveaway ideas from Ship One Indiana area. Also, I'm I'm tossing around the idea of having a website finally. You know, I, I've just done YouTube videos and I haven't, I don't have the membership turned on, which I probably will one of these days. Um, I don't have a Patreon account. Um, maybe I'll look into that. I don't know. Uh, but a website, I'm thinking about adding a website, selling products on there. Of course, probably t-shirts and hats. Um, but I was also thinking maybe some Amish cookbooks, uh, some Amish, authentic Amish made stuff if I can get people to make it for me if they are willing to work with the Amish potato uh, we'll see if that is something of interest to you guys um, let me know let me know in the comments below I don't know yeah I don't know what kind of let me know what kind of products you would like it that you would be interested in purchasing you know be it soap leather belts yeah let me know because I yeah just let me know in the comments that you would like seeing in the Amish potato store do you guys care about it being made by Amish people? Is that a big deal or not? Um, I can try to source it from Amish people. Give away ideas, comments below. Amish potato store ideas, comments below. Let me know. Watch the barefoot shoe video right after this one. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. I'm CJ. This is the Amish potato.